How's it going everyone? My name is Dave and welcome to another discussion rant video. So today I actually kind of wanted to talk about my thoughts on the difference between um, surprises and deception. A little bit of a weird comparison for probably most of you who either clicked on this video and are going, yeah, we know, title, yeah, I know, hush. But to me, once I kind of start talking about it, it'll kind of become a bit more clear why I'm using these particular two statements. So most people in the world, as far as I know, love surprises to a very specific extent. Like you want to surprise certain people, like a surprise birthday party, for example. Who doesn't like a surprise birthday party? I mean, I can think of a couple of people, but for the vast majority, most people do. It's a well common, I mean, it's a commonly known thing. I don't know. I guess it's more of a fitting kind of thing that makes people like it. Maybe not. I have no idea. But I know, I, I also know that there are the type of surprises where you have to hide certain things while trying to make it a surprise. And quite frankly, I don't like that. Because at that point, the deception comes into play. And honestly, personally, if I were to try to surprise someone, I would hide it. But personally, I would hide it well enough to where they wouldn't have to ask, hey, are you doing this guessing what it actually is? For example, um, you know what? Deck with it. Let's just use the surprise party again. Why the heck not? <laughs> So say I'm planning a surprise birthday party for one of my siblings and I accidentally let something slip that can hint at like the idea of, hey, I'm going to do a surprise birthday party. And they're like, are you doing a surprise birthday party for me? Are you secretly doing like a birthday party plan or something for me? And I'm like, no, why would you think that? That's a lie at that point and I I, I, I'd rather just stay silent than lie or be deceptive about that kind of thing. Yeah, silence is a kind of deceiving, but when you're silent, people have a tendency to give away the answer when they are. That, for example, sibling asks and I stay silent. Duh! <laughs> silence kind of mean a yes. Onto that front. Not a lot of people realize this, but as someone who's studied psychology and has been pretty much interested in, or in the field of neurology, and for those who don't know what that means, it's the brain, the field of the study of the brain. But for someone who's been stuck in that kind of field pretty much his whole life, by default, I had, I ended up giving an interest and. One of the things I learned is that people have a tendency, and a lot of people know this too, so this is kind of a given for most, but people have a tendency to not realize uh, the obvious, which is why most people are able to get away with deceiving, but it doesn't entirely work for me a lot of the time, and that's why I personally don't like it. Like A good example personal life experience, I'm not going to say who's involved, and I'm not going to give too much detail because it might give away if I do, but there was a certain event going on at a point, and there is a friend that I have had one of the two, so it's either I, that I have or that I had. I'm not going to say which. But this friend wanted to hang out with me, and they wanted to make it a surprise. So, and I was unaware of this. They were just hiding it, and something happened that made it so they couldn't. The problem was they kind of were very, like, they made it seem like knowing them that they were trying to deceive 
but they were still going to do it. But at the same time, they were also making it seem like, you know, what they said was accurate and it wasn't going to happen. And knowing my mind, it went off in a tangent thinking, which is it? To the point where I just couldn't handle it. I got frustrated and I'm like, you know what, I, I can't. It eventually got resolved, but we inevitably hung out. I mean, it wasn't that day that it happened, but it, it eventually happened. That's pretty much all I'm going to say on that front, but that kind of gives away the point why I don't like deception. The frustration came from the thought that the person may be deceiving me, and I hate being lied to i hate being deceived under these kind of fronts it makes me start to despise surprises in general because nowadays a lot of people go about surprises that way and it's saddening there was a there used to be like a way where it was just like surprises where if you found out they go like well there goes the surprise yep that's what was going to happen but now it's just like, no, I don't know what you're talking about. It's not, that's not happening. I'm like, that would literally be my mental response. I don't know what it is about deception when it comes to surprises. It's just, it doesn't feel comforting. I don't know why. But to me, it just doesn't feel comfortable, com comfortable when people deceive for the sake of you know, that kind of thing. It just, it doesn't. I don't know. It might just be me. But that's how I prefer it. I mean, I've had, the, the thing that led up to that is just that I've dealt with a lot of crap in my life to the point where it's like deception in any kind of front if it's done. It's like, it reminds me of those things and I'm like, yeah, I hate this. Maybe it's just me. But that's pretty much what I think about um, the different, like deception versus surprises. I like surprises, but not if it involves deception. That's basically the short of it. But what do you guys think about this kind of thing? Um, when it comes to surprises, do you guys think that it's so bad that there people deceive others for the sake of a surprise, or no? I'm not going to go against it. I just give my own personal thoughts on it just because, you know, I mean, like, why not? I do these videos for a reason. But if you do agree with what I say, let me know in the comments below. Or if you have a different thought on it, let me know as well. I, I do read as many of the comments as I can, whether for one of these kind of videos or for one of my gaming videos. I try to keep as much interest as possible for those kind of things. But let me know. Um, want to check out more of the stuff that I've talked about in the past, whether it's something that I need to get off my chest or a rant or something like this that's more kind of just like comparisons or philosophical stuff. Those discussion and rants will be on this side over here somewhere. Uh, one of my, one of my personal kind of gaming videos that I like a lot, uh, that place for one of those will be on this side over here. In the meantime, though, if you guys want to check out any other stuff, just in general, if you haven't subscribed to the channel and you kind of have an interest in that, consider doing so. In the meantime, I'm going to head out, but thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye now.